Like, how did you feel? How was it the second rehearsal? Yeah, it was interesting because I don't know why, but I want to be honest, I was nervous, more nervous, like for the first time. Why? <laughs> but uh, I don't know because um, you really have to get to used to the place and yeah, everything is bigger. <laughs> No, uh, I think it's really a question of time that I will feel more comfortable. Maybe also the audience, when the people are there, it's for me better because I'm I'm used to sing for the people in front of me, and then you have to imagine that there is a full uh, there is audience which supports you and you can sing for them. And now I was a little bit nervous and also tired. So I, I told myself, I also told my colleagues, no parties, sleep, 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 and eat. Yeah, that usually happens with Eurovision. What did change and what did improve from your first rehearsal? Sorry. We discussed, we discussed the choreography, we also discussed the... We had uh, enough time to uh, speak about the um, growing of the song or about the emotions and then uh, I'm glad that we, we could uh, talk together about it. And uh, also the graphic was improved, so it's, it's good for us. Can you tell us more, please, about your steam costume? Uh, of course! I love my costume. Uh, this costume was designed by Zoltan Todt. It's a really very talented young guy from Slovakia, but he is located now, he is living in Prague. And uh, I started to uh, cooperate with him like two months ago, and we, we uh, discussed uh, the kind of uh, costume, and I told him, hey, I really love all those. Uh, yeah, my, my idols are David Bowie and uh, Prince, and I like uh, I like uh, um, like um, playing with with uh, mode design. And uh, I, I told him, hey, I love uh, uh, female suits. So uh, he just made drawings, and uh, he he told me, okay, it could uh, look like this. And then we, we chose a certain fabric which we displayed with the lights. And I'm really satisfied with, the, with this costume. I'm Thank feeling comfortable. Thank you. So now we're going to take some questions from the floor if we have those. Yes, please. Hi. It's, Hello. It's uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. You just mentioned uh, two of your favorite artists, uh, David Bowie and Prince. But uh, as you were also a jazz musician, and has a lot to do with jazz, who is your favorite jazz musician? Oh my god, there are so, so, so many favorite musicians and singers. I would start with Nat King Cole, and uh, Sarah Vaughan, Elle Fitzgerald, Diana Washington, Frank Sinatra, oh my god, I don't know, uh, Oscar Peterson, Miles Davis, Chet Baker, oh my god, I love Chet Baker. And you know what? I would say that the guy from Portugal, he is very similar to Chet Baker. When I listen to the guy from Portugal, Savado Sobral, I'm feeling like my heart is, oh my god, it's nice, nice, nice. And I'm so, so glad and happy that this guy is at Eurovision. Because you know what? There are really so many artists and they are different and they are they are singing another kind of songs and this, yeah, I like it. It's this really celebration of diversity. Thank you. Next question is here. Hello, Martina. Hello. I'm Sebastian from Destination Eurovision Poland. First of all, I want to say that I love your song. I absolutely adore it. Thank you very much. It's all jazz and blues elements. It's phenomenal. My question is about your, I think, friendship. It's a good word with Kasia Mosz from Poland. Because Kasia come to check to your concert, jazz concert. You also make some commercial to the Polish TV. Can you tell me what is the three main words with which you can use it to describe your relation, I know, I think right now, French with Kasia. Uh, at first, uh, I'm really glad that uh, Kasia uh, came to Prague because it was really very, very nice concert at Prague uh, Jazz Club uh, in the nearness of uh, Vltava River. And uh, Kasia is for me really very great singer. When she sings, uh, you, can, you can listen to that. She is really high, high professional. And uh, it's funny because uh, the composer of her song is also a composer of my song. Uh, I'm, uh, Mr. Pete Berger composed her song. And I also like, uh, it's really very symbolic that uh, she's also educated to musician because she told me that she played cello. Uh, her brother is also a musician, my sister is also a musician. So it's, uh, there are really many things that, are, um, that we've got in common. 
Thank you. We have next question there. Please, Master. Hi there, it's David from uh, BBC Local Radio. Uh, what is your earliest memory of singing, either in your house or your neighbourhood or your town or your church? And where and when did you sing to a live audience for the first time? Um, I started with music really very, very early, when I was three or four years old. Uh, I lived um, in a big family house and my father was a huge fan of jazz music, so we started with my sister hitting to the piano and my sister played piano, I screamed and I hit also everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> so we started really very, very young and then I remember my, my father was a wine keeper and we had uh, every evening uh, jam sessions. We played every evening when the father was done with his job. We played together all those things from American Songbook and uh, then uh, also the people who came to uh, buy some wine from my father, they just came and listened to and instead of sleeping we played the whole night long. So it was like, yeah, I started with just jam session <laughs> very early. So it was my first memory of uh, making music. Yeah, it was also the first uh, first experience with playing in front of the people, foreign people. Thank you. More questions from our press, from our journalists. Martina, how can you describe your music? How can you describe your music? Uh, my music? Uh, you mean uh, the song that I'm uh, singing at the original? Or all your all songs. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I haven't got my own music. Like I'm not a songwriter, but uh, I uh, when I when I um, when I'm choosing the music that I like to sing or play, uh, I, I have to feel some relationship to the music. I have to I have to uh, uh, feel that uh, it suits to my personality, and I really like uh, I really love a different kinds kinds of music. I I also studied classical music, so I'm lis listening to different kind of music. Uh, it, Depends on my mood. When I'm uh, in the depressed, I, I listen to Richard Baker, and then I'm in deeper depression. Or when I want to be happy, then I then I listen to uh, yeah, I don't know uh, Bruno Mars, or I dance uh, through, through through the room, and I listen to Prince or Michael Jackson. So it's really different. Uh, you are called a new discovery on the jazz scene. Why have you chosen jazz as prevailing music style? Because it was the first music style that I, I listened to, uh, thanks to my father. Uh, that just happened, right? Yeah, it, because it was really the very first music that I, that I listened to, because my father was really a huge fan of music, uh, jazz music. So, uh, yeah, it was the first that I listened when I was a small girl. What are you planning to get from your ambition, the main thing? Um, you know, it's for me really a very big life experience. Uh, also, big experience for me as an artist. I'm really glad that I did. Uh, I could get to know those guys because uh, they worked with me in the last uh, few months and uh, it's for me really everything new here because <laughs> that's my favorite phrase, everything here is bigger. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I think that I will learn, uh, I will learn from this staging and uh, I, I got to know, know uh, new artists from uh, different kind of countries and yeah, I'm really very thankful for this, that I, could be, I can be the part of uh, this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Thank you. Do we have more questions? Yes, please. Hello, Martina. I'm Patrick from EFR12 uh, Radio from France. Hello. Congratulations from your rehearsals. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, there are plenty of ballads this year in Eurovision. What makes your, songs, uh, your song stand out from the others? from the other ballads, do you think? I would say that uh, the song, uh, My Turn, has got deeper meaning, and maybe it would be a positive thing. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult. Uh, yeah, I, I love my song. It's the first thing important for me. And for me, it's also important that I will, I will uh, deliver the emotions that I like to give the audience you, you know, it's really very, very difficult. You've got only three minutes, and then you've got only one chance. And uh, the, I don't know if you saw the rehearsals, but you've got really, you have to be really like turned on, and there must be everything. In those three minutes, there must be everything. Not oh my God, I was in, uh, I was in bad condition, in bad. No, you have to be like I'm here right now, and.
and uh, I'm delivering those emotions, and that's what I like. That's my goal. That everything will be on the right place. Thank you. More questions from the audience, please. Hello, Marta. It's Jackie from Great International. Hello. Um, I'm reading here that you uh, you have a project called Scotch and Soda. Can you tell us more about this and what type of music, if it's a music project? Yeah, I founded this uh, band uh, during my study at Jazz Institute Berlin. Uh, that's a band uh, with my uh, colleague, Markus Garcia. Hi, Markus! <laughs> Markus uh, is also from Berlin and we, we uh, founded this, this band uh, with uh, also our colleague, uh, vibraphone player, mallets player, Haugerenke, and Fabian team, double bass player, and uh, my sister is also playing piano, and. We are, because we are all lovers of those uh, nice American songs uh, and uh, we arrange those songs for two voices, like female and male voice and we are having concerts together in Germany and every time I, I play with my dad's coach and so I am really the happiest girl in the, on the earth. Thank you. We have one more question there. Hello, uh, Martina, my name is Matthias from Hello. Berlin, Germany, from, from Penzblock. You just mentioned that you, you live in Berlin, and I want to know um, why you choose to go to Berlin and what do you get from the city? Oh, thank you. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, why I chose uh, li living in Berlin. It was, uh, it was quite funny because I wanted to uh, study in the Czech Republic, but I wasn't accepted to, for the study. They didn't want me at, in Prague. So uh, a friend of mine told me about this university, University of Kutstadt, and uh, I tried it, and I was accepted for the study, and then uh, I really fell in love uh, in this city because uh, it's uh, completely different from Prague, and I love, I love it. Uh, Berlin is for me a really very colorful city, and also the uh, each corner of Berlin is interesting, and I'm learning uh, every single day from Berlin something new, and I, I like it really. Thank you. Do we have more questions? Martin, you have a chance to send some messages to your fans all over the world. What would you say then? Hello, here is Martin Martin from Prague. All my dear friends and all fans of Eurovision Song Contest, I'm really very, very happy for all the messages you are sending me. Sometimes I'm really uh, emotionally uh, moved by your messages because some of them are really very personal. I'm glad that you, you found something specific in the song that I'm singing. I promise you, I will sing for you and I hope that I won't disappoint you. And uh, please support us, support the whole Czech team because we are really like small child in this contest and we are really very really grateful and thankful for all your votes. Thank you very much, Martina. Thank you very much. Martina Marcus from Czech Republic.